Xavier Cabrini was the first U.S. citizen to be canonized to saint by the Catholic Church. Her story now on the big screen. Take a look. The problem is I have to write articles that people read. Do people know that in America, the greatest nation on earth, rats, have it better than the children of five points? <laughs> I sincerely doubt that. Then you clearly haven't been to five points. And playing the remarkable woman is actress Christiana Delana, who joins us this morning right here in the Pix11 studio. So good morning to you. So great to have you here. Thanks for having me. So first of all, we know of people that have had the opportunity to see the film yes. and have given it rave reviews. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you or even feel like to be able to play someone that has such an, played such an important role in the, in the Catholic Church? Um, well, of course, she was a remarkable woman, so that's the first thing I noticed when I got the script the first time. Um, but um, I was surprised to actually see how, how strongly she impacted American history um, and therefore Ameri um, the history of the world. Yeah. Because she very much um, helped to build New York, to create a more equal society. So to me, it just felt you know, the right opportunity to you know, grab a character that was a woman, that was mm -hmm. powerful, that had um, you know, a role in, in our society, and you know, it just felt like I couldn't say no to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much did you know about her before taking on the role? I mean, here in New York, the influence is huge, right? There's, there's Mother Cabrini Medical Center, Cabrini Boulevard. Her, herself lays rest uh, in, in Harlem on a, near 110th Street. How much did you know prior to getting that role? It's funny because I didn't know much about her before. Yeah. I, I only read about her in a chapter of a book, um, but that was it. It was just, a, just yeah. a peak, but that's it. And then I started researching while I was off with the part, and it all made sense afterwards. She was amazing. Um, yeah. yeah, so I didn't, I didn't know much. And it's funny because in Italy, they don't know who she was. Yeah. Really? In fact, they yeah. think she, uh, whenever I said, you know, I'm, I'm working on this movie, Cabrini, they thought it was a football player because there's a football player oh named Cabrini. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> you know, when people play historic roles, I mean, as an actress, it's sometimes you can look back at video or hear recordings, but this is a woman in the 1800s, mm -hmm. so you don't have that access. So how difficult was it to do your research for this role? Um, so I read a lot of books and biographies and whatnot, and then I just had to you know, let my imagination fill the gaps, which is what I normally do when I work, but this time it was, you know, it was required. Mm -hmm. um, I try to, you know, to um, take from my Italian heritage mm. to imagine how she would move or speak, um, and then everything else I just based on, on the script. And the movie premiered on March 8th, right? It was International Women's Day. Mm -hmm. So it was a very significant uh, day to release, to release the film. There's a line in the movie where you say, we can serve our weakness or we can serve our purpose. I mean, those are her words. But for you, what does that mean? And, and, and how do you think the viewer should take that? <laughs> well, for me, uh, it, it really means, it's something I try to remind myself every day. Mm -hmm. You know, it is you know, work that you do on yourself when you wake up and you just remind, remind yourself that you should never give in to your weaknesses. We all have them and it what makes us human, but if you serve them, then you'll lead a completely different life, mm. very miserable perhaps. But if I think back of when I had to choose whether to become a doctor for my dad <laughs> or an actress for myself, yeah. then you know, I, I'm really glad that I, you know, I tried that road and it didn't work well. It was a year, it was a very miserable year for me. And then I just switched to, you know, following my dream, yeah. and it went pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I mean, she serves. A, she could serve a lot of, uh, you know, of importance in teaching people the importance of, of different parts of life, like equal rights. I mean, she had so many missions, didn't she? She did, and it's exactly what I loved about her when I first had, I had the first look at her life. She had a, a very clear vision of a more equal society uh, that that had the, the fundamentals of our society where um, integration, inclusion, education, um, you know, it's, these are values that I really I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. and, you know, to be able to give voice to them through a woman like, like her, yeah. I, I felt very proud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, during the audition process, by the way, they, they were trying out Italian actors and actresses, right? 
Did uh, do you speak fluent Italian? I do. Okay. So oh. was that part of the was that part of the audition process? I think it was. I mean, I, I was unknowingly for me. I, I I did the audition in English. I didn't yeah. do it in Italian. I didn't know that they were specifically looking for Italian actresses. I didn't know what the process had been before me. Did you know you were auditioning for Cabrini? I, okay, I knew yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> I knew that much. Did they know you I in Italian know, though? Yeah, yeah, they knew yeah. that. Oh, okay. But I didn't know that uh, some of the a part of the movie would be in Italian. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So so yeah, I just. I just used it as yeah. much as I could. I don't know how much it informed my my audition yeah. because it was very, as you can hear, it's very British. Yes. Yeah. So some from time to time on set, I had my director going, "No notes from, for you, except can you just be more Italian?" <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on the film. Thank I'm you. so glad that it's doing so well. Thank you. And we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks yeah. again. Looking Thanks forward to seeing it. Yeah. Thank you.